Boom. Gonna talk about the counterfall of the weight of the golf club. And this is a universal, wherever the club goes is where your weight goes. And, and I've done a lot, a lot of zooms now lately. And what you guys think you're doing and doing are two different things. And I love that you guys watch my channel and that you try all the different stuff. That's the experimentation in all of this. And because I've studied so much from everybody and learned from everybody, uh, that's the reason why I have so many different ways to do it. But this is really a universal. So wherever the club goes is the weight goes. So watch this. So if, if I take my weight here, you can see that my pressure is over here. So first of all, weight and pressure is slightly different. So, but you're gonna see the pressure goes here. Now, when the swing club, when, when I swing the club back, no matter if I use my hands, no matter if I use my foot, no matter if I use the middle turn of my torso or my arm, my weight will go into my right leg because the shaft is over here. So you guys should be able to see this. Now, if you restrict all this completely and you just do this, now you fought the club going this way. So that's, I never want that, okay? Now, some people, especially like I say, a Zoom I did last night, the, he loved the video, but he moved his feet and legs so much that the weight was over here, but he's kind of counterbalancing it. The weight's trying to go this way, and he's counterbalancing it this way, so the arms would collapse now. Now, wherever the club goes, the weight goes. See how the weight would go even more left like this? So now he's going to fall back, and obviously this is not what I want. And so I said, hey, don't move your legs as much. And he's like, what? Didn't feel like he'd moved anything. And when he didn't feel like he moved anything, he actually was right here. So this is real critical to see. So I'm gonna go slow. So right here, here's my weight in my right leg. I'm gonna move my hands. My weight went to my right leg. I'm gonna make the little bucket move. My weight went to the right leg. Weight on the string, weight to the right leg. Roll my foot a little bit. Weight went to the right leg. So you guys gotta see that. Now, as the golf club starts to go up right here, you'll start to see that the shaft is straight up and down right here. Now, that's ideal. My weight's still loaded in my right leg. You can see that. As soon as the shaft tips, the weight goes left. This is universal. So the weight goes left here. Okay? So that's that counterbalance, making sure you don't fall over stuff. So what happens now is the golf club swings down this way, even if you're throwing it with your arms or trying to move your foot, it does not matter, I promise you, because what happens is you're responding to this weight that's up here, okay? So when the weight goes this way, that's what makes your pelvis go this way to counterbalance the golf club going this way. If you didn't counterbalance and you just swung your arms down, you would fall backwards this way, okay? Which some of you do, right? So how do you counterbalance it? A lot of times what you guys do is turn. Well, now the shaft's out in front of you, so you counterbalanced it, okay? So here I am, weight goes left. This is the counterfall I'm talking about. So the pelvis goes as the arm goes. And you can do this real slow, you get a feeling that right here, just because it feels like so my pelvis is left because I'm counterbalancing, but the pressure is really on my right foot right here. Okay, now from right here, the knee, the pelvis, and the ankle joint moves together because the shaft now is going towards the target. When it goes to the target, now my weight's on my left, now the pressure's on my left here, and now when the shaft goes, I'll go back this way. So when the shaft goes this way, now you'll see that the weight is here. Now, if you really fling it, you can counterbalance that here and fling and stop your body from moving and you'll see your weight will be on your right leg a little bit more and that's that speed that we talk about with like the, say the Mike Austin thing, okay? So when this swings through, you can still go with it if you wanted to, that's fine. Or you can counterbalance it and let the club flip over, okay? Now, flip over doesn't mean flip like this, right? Because the shaft is here. So what makes the golf club and the arm be in line is really responding to the counterfall, right? So gravity is really at force here. Uh, and I'm, now we haven't talked about gravity, 
right? So gravity is one of those things that's 24 seven, right? 365. So when I'm up here, gravity is going to put force down. And when it puts force down this way, my whole body's falling. Now, how do we stop that from doing that? Well, if we pull the club down, we're no longer letting the body counterfall. Okay. We've now just stopped all centrifugal force. We stopped all gravity nature. So that's why when I say like a weight on a string or feeling the weight of the club swinging freely, like say with the two fingers, right? It's to get you to get the feeling of the club right here, going left, counter falling right. And when you do that, then the game is real, real easy, right? But what happens is you guys, when you take it back here and you take it back real far, and if you move your head, hang on, if you move your head off the ball, how can you counter fall? You can't. So the head stays center and rotates this way. The back of the cervical of your spine back here, seventh cervical of your spine is the center, not the chin. The chin rotates, but the back of the neck stays there, right? And when you swing it back, you'll see that's what makes it counter fall. Weight goes left, you see that, and then back to the right. That's how the head stays in the center, okay? So uh, for instance, Dr. Kwan kind of teaches it where you take like a kettlebell and you shift and you push your pressure into the ground like so, and then the club swings. And as the club is swinging, because you shifted into the right, the ground's gonna push you back to the left, right? But you don't have to make it so dramatic with the head and the body and the feet this way. You really can just let the club head swing freely and you can see how the weight will go from right to left back. If you try to do this with manual tension like this, you see that the body didn't respond. So that's why I talk about the club swinging and the body responding. Same thing like Manuel De La Torre talked about how the club swings and the body responds. Okay, and Ernest Jones, those kinds of guys. That The reason what they were feeling was if I swing this golf club over my shoulder with my hands, my weight has to go to my right. I counterbalance back to the left and then I can throw. And when I throw, my weight's going back to the right and then back to the left, right? So hopefully not <laughs> clear as mud, right? So. Play around with this, but I promise you uh, the things that I'm offering now with my website, with you guys being able to send me your golf swing uh, for like a fraction of the price and then me being able to see it, put it back on video form, show you exactly why you're doing what you're doing uh, is priceless. And then of course, one-on-one -on -one Zoom lessons because again, what you guys think you're doing and doing are two different things. Like I said, one guy's doing this and he shouldn't be doing it at all, right? And the other guy's not doing this and so he needs to be doing some of this. So everybody is different. I'm trying to get you guys just to swing this club and respond to the weight of it as you go. And then the faster that you release that, the further the ball is gonna go, all right? So look forward to working with you in any of those capacities. Uh, like and subscribe because that makes a huge difference because that's gonna put somebody, the algorithm, that's gonna put somebody down the road to see me that wouldn't have a chance to see me that I can then impact their lives as well and change their golf swing as well, all right? Uh, rkswingking.com is the website. Everybody have a great day.